welcome to my channel as real as it gets my name is asriel and i'm just gonna hop on and start by saying that we are all spiritual beings having a human experience and with that, you have to also understand that everything is made up of energy. No matter what it is, from a ball to an animal to a human being, everything is made up of energy. And I would not be surprised if energy and spiritual beings correlate with each other. However, you know, science hasn't caught up just yet in order to test and learn about these things. However, scientifically, we do know that everything is made up of energy. With that being said, once you learn how to bend energy, you'll be able to, in a sense, bend your own reality. I myself, I remember when I was a kid, and this is kind of a funny story, whenever I would get my hair braided, it would hurt so bad. However, I learn and I train myself to push the pain in different areas of my body. So instead of my head hurting, I'll put the pain into my the back of my heel. And until I can't take it anymore there, I'll put it in my knee. But I'll just move the pain in different places. And I remember when I got older, I told someone that story. And I thought it was normal. I thought everyone could do that like move their pain into different locations and they told me like no you know that is not normal and I thought it was normal as a matter of fact as I've gotten older I've learned how to exit the pain completely out of my body now I'm not gonna say it's easy it takes a lot of concentration a lot of work for me to actually push that pain out that energy out but I most definitely can do it, and I believe you can do it also. One way to begin to exercise bending energy, you're going to want to feel the energy. Like for an example, take your thumb and your pointer finger, hold it together, maybe one or two centimeters apart, and concentrate. If you concentrate hard enough, you can begin to feel the energy in between your fingers and as you continue to practice you can also move this energy throughout your body and others also i have to say the biggest part of being able to bend energy is to have an understanding of the fact that you are made of energy and energy cannot be broken it cannot be destroyed it cannot be created. It just is. And therefore, you cannot be broken. You cannot be destroyed. You cannot be recreated. No one can recreate what the creator of all creation has already created. And once you have this understand, understanding, you can begin to understand that you too can tap into this energy. I have to say meditation is definitely a great practice when it comes to tapping into energy and learning how to bend it therefore you can also connect with other spiritual beings and they can help you bend reality they can help you bend energy however i'm not going to advise you to go through that route simple fact because a lot of these spiritual beings can be you know manipulative can have their own motives and you know i wouldn't want you to fall into a world full of hurt therefore i wouldn't be so quick to you know sign a contract or try to get attached to a spiritual being just to bend energy especially when you could do it yourself well i'm gonna keep this short sweet and simple i hope i got to the point if you have any questions comment down below if you have any experiences of your own with when it comes to bending energy comment down below i'd like to know your experience well it was nice talking to you i'll catch you on the next one bye